I think it'll, it gives a good view of the celery bug. Residents breathe a sigh of relief. It's finally here after nearly a year's wait. Lindbergh Bridge opens. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Dan Klein. Bad weather caused the opening of Lindbergh Bridge to be delayed twice, but as of today, it's finally complete. Drivers got to test out the new bridge for the first time. News Channel 18's Nicole Khan is live with the bridge. Nicole, it took almost a full year of construction, but what do the drivers think? Well, Dan, drivers are thrilled, as you can imagine. The bridge opened at about 4.30 this afternoon and has been very busy. You could see a couple people out on the bridge even at this late hour. And the first drivers across, well, they honked in approval that the bridge is now open. Batman stood in for West Lafayette Mayor John Dennis, and trick-or-treaters were the first to cross it. Then drivers got to take their first trip. It was a, a large improvement, and I like the fact that the pedestrians are kind of separated from the cars. The bridge is two lanes and has a dedicated pedestrian walkway. It's something Susan McLaughlin and her dog Sadie appreciate. It's nice not to feel like the traffic is likely to end up in your sort of in your pocket. The view is also what drivers and walkers noted as they cruised across. I felt much higher. I mean, obviously, but it's still it's still really pretty. This is what Lindbergh Road used to look like. The celery bogs, peaty soil caused the road to sink and become bumpy. Drivers noted the bridge's much smoother ride. It was annoying, but uh, this is great. I think it was it was a, a large improvement. Others say they miss the road's most prominent feature. We liked the bumps. We thought they were fun. It cost $4.4 million for the fourth of a mile bridge. Both the city and drivers hope it's a more durable solution to an ongoing transportation problem. I'm hoping it's a per more permanent fix, too. For now, it's fixed many drivers' traffic tie-ups as they tried to find an alternative route around the bridge construction. And drivers spent almost a year do detouring around this bridge construction, and they say it was worth the wait. Reporting live from Limburg Bridge in West Lafayette, Nicole Kahn, News Channel 18.